Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we got a review on the Eco Shield for the iPod Touch second generation. Here it is in the color black. Agent 18 Eco Shield and stands plus the screen shield, screen film. No, this little thing is not included, but other than that, let's read the back. Features durable eco plastic material, secure two piece clip together design, f full access to all ports, switches, and sensors. So there it is. This is for the iPod Touch second generation. There's a little how it works. Made from post consumer plastic bottles, so that yes, this is a really eco friendly company. That's what I love about them. But the only thing I hate about this case is that it's a two piece case. I really dislike two piece cases. You'll see why. Alright, so it comes with. My bad, here it is. The protective screen film, which is inside this little booklet. It comes with the, the stand, as you can see here. Just simply put it like that. Voila, you can watch videos and such on your iPod Touch second generation. No, this does not work anymore. It broke. I, I fell in the pool with this on, along with my phone and everything else. So, yeah, I got wet. It doesn't work anymore. Right, let's just put this case on. So, yes, this is a two piece case once again. Now I'm going to do a drop test because I really don't care if this iPod breaks to see how well this thing protects if you were to drop it from my height. I'm about 6'3", and we'll see how it turns out, I guess. So here it is. It comes in four different colors. Black, white, um, what color is this? Um, a blue and a purple. So yeah, the Agent 18 Eco Shield for iPod Touch is an innovation in product protection. So here it is, black, um, very, very smooth finish to it. It's got a logo right there, Agent 18, and then the main logo right up there. So yeah, the home button is easily accessible with a pretty big um, cutout, just as well as the volume rockers. You can easily access them. So no problem with any of the cutouts. They all work just fine. A very, very big cutout for the bottom. But... Um, it's not grip. I mean, it's not grippy. So if let's say if you were using this, playing with it, jamming out, you know how people shake their iPod when they want make movement with while listening to music, this thing could slip because it is. It's not that grippy. I mean, this thing isn't made to stick to your hand like most cases. But yeah, other than that, this does have a lay on the table design. Covers all around the silver chrome bezel, so you can lay it drop it nothing's gonna happen to it nothing at all so I'm gonna stop the video right here and I'll come back to y'all with a drop test and then after that drop test I'll go over more features and such so yeah drop test starting now alright you guys so I'm behind the camera here's the iPod touch itself I'm gonna simply walk up to there so you can see it drop from my height I am 6'3 hopefully I'll come out in the shot because I highly highly doubt it will unless I let's alright that seems about right but most people are going to bitch that they don't see the fucking iP the iPod drop. So here it is. iPod Touch 2nd generation. This is the same exact iPod. I'm going to drop it from my head to the floor. See if this protects it. And you'll see why I hate the two-piece case. Because if, if this, this two-piece case does come apart, that's exactly why I hate it. They're not durable enough. They're not like crazy, crazy protective. So let's just walk over here. As you can see, I'm the same height as this thing. So... Here's the iPod, here's my head, right here, I'm going to drop it from right here, here's the iPod, no fake, same video, everything, three, two, one, and never mind, it actually did stay on surprisingly, obviously I don't know if it still works or not, but it did protect it, there's no crack on the screen, it works just fine, <laughs> I'm surprised this actually didn't fall apart on like most two piece cases, because every time I drop it, it eventually just like it the two piece case comes apart let's just fold down here let's drop it from right here this is what three three feet I believe and still intact guys so yeah let's go back to the video review and there's a drop test for you going back now we're back and here we are once again we are back with the Eco Shield for the iPod Touch second generation, this does retail for for about a price of twenty nine ninety five. 
With at least one recycled plastic bottle in every stylish case, it has never been so easy or appealing to go green. Landfills will literally shrink right before your eyes. The slim, sturdy design and easy access to your, all your iPod features means never again will you have to choose between function and style. Once again, Agent 18 is one little case making a big difference. So I totally agree. I mean, obviously this withstood the drop from 6.3 and below. So without a doubt, this case is highly, highly protective. I mean, your iPod isn't going anywhere. Obviously, if it drops wrong, it's going to crack in the right spot, which is along one of these corners. I've never, I've never broken it terribly, but I have dropped it to the point where it doesn't turn on again on my previous iPods. It's staying in lightweight, hard shell, eco-friendly, two-piece snap-together design with coin slot twist removal, full axis, available black, white, purple, and blue with a matte finish. So yeah, it's been a review on the EcoShield. Go check it out. Pretty decent price, $29.95. I would highly recommend this case if you're looking for a simple yet unique case that will protect your iPod really, really well. I highly recommend it. Go check it out. www.agent18.com. Catch you guys next time. Peace.